The benefits of whitening cream according to its content. Bleaching creams are often used to get white and bright skin. However, to get the maximum benefits of whitening cream, you need to know the ingredients contained in it and adjust it to your skin type. For some people, having white skin is believed to increase self-confidence. Bleaching cream is also a way to get bright and white skin. Currently, there are many whitening cream products on the market. However, before deciding to use a whitening cream, it's a good idea to know exactly what factors affect skin color and how whitening cream products work on your skin. Factors Affecting Skin Color The main factor that determines the color of a person's skin is melanin or the natural pigment that gives color to the skin, eyes and hair. Melanin has an important role in the body, which is to protect the skin from damage caused by sun radiation. The more levels of melanin in the body, the darker a person's skin. Conversely, if the melanin level is low, the skin color will be brighter or whiter. In people who have fair skin, an increase in the amount of melanin can cause dark spots or freckles. The amount of melanin in the skin is determined by various factors, including Genetic or hereditary factors Sun exposure Exposure to certain chemicals on the skin Hormonal influence Inflammation of the skin, for example due to irritation, infection, or autoimmune disease High melanin levels in the skin due to genetic factors generally cannot be avoided or changed However, if you have fair and fair skin, you can prevent increased melanin levels by avoiding excess sun exposure Apart from that to restore skin color to brighten it again, you can also try using skin care products, such as whitening creams. Not only brightening, whitening creams can also remove black spots, acne scars, or age spots. Some content of whitening cream and its benefits. Whitening creams contain active ingredients or a combination of ingredients that can reduce the amount of melanin in the skin. The following are some of the ingredients that are often mixed in whitening creams. 1. Alpha hydroxy acids, AHA. Bleaching creams generally contain AHA. This substance is known to stimulate exfoliation, healing, remove dead skin cells, and inhibit melanin production and make skin appear whiter. However, this substance can cause side effects in the form of mild irritation on the skin and the skin becomes sensitive to sunlight. Therefore, it is recommended that you use sunscreen when using creams that contain ahas. If you are not used to it, you can start by using products that contain low levels of aha and adjust it according to your skin reaction and skin type. 2. Kojic Acid Kojic acid is a substance produced from the fermentation process of rice, for example in the production of sake or Japanese alcoholic drinks. Several studies have shown that kojic acid can inhibit melanin production, so it can whiten and brighten skin tone. Kojic acid is usually contained in various skin care products, such as whitening creams or serums. 3. Arbutin Technically referred to as a natural source of hydroquinone or hydroquinone beta d glucoside. Arbutin comes from the leaves of bearberry, cranberry, mulberry, or pear. This compound is also believed to brighten the skin. 4. Vitamin C and Vitamin E You may have often seen whitening creams containing vitamin C or vitamin E. These two types of vitamins have good antioxidant properties to repair skin damage. Several studies so far have also shown that vitamin C and vitamin E can brighten and whiten the skin, 
and prevent signs of premature aging from appearing. 5. Hyaluronic Acid This substance is also often added to whitening creams or other skin care products, such as moisturizers and facial serums. This is because hyaluronic acid can not only lighten skin tone, but also has antioxidant properties that are good for skin rejuvenation. Hyaluronic acid can also moisturize the skin and treat dry skin and wrinkles. Some content of whitening creams that need to be avoided. Apart from the ingredients above, there are whitening cream ingredients that do have the ability to reduce melanin production but are known to be dangerous when used on the skin, namely. Hydroquinone Hydroquinone is a substance that can inhibit melanin production and prevent skin darkening. However, this ingredient can cause dangerous side effects, ranging from damaging the skin, causing severe pain and irritation to the skin, and interfering with kidney function. This is the reason why this ingredient is not allowed to be added in over-the-counter whitening creams. The Indonesian government through BOM has also banned distribution permits for whitening cream products that contain hydroquinone because of the risk of causing harmful effects to health. This substance should only be used according to a doctor's prescription and instructions. Mercury Mercury also has a skin whitening effect, but this substance is very toxic and can be harmful to the body, especially if used in the long term or in high doses. Mercury is known to cause various side effects, such as kidney and nerve damage, skin irritation, and poisoning. Exposure to high levels of mercury in pregnant women can also cause miscarriages, birth defects, and growth and development disorders in the fetus. Before buying, it is important to ensure the safety of whitening cream products so that you can avoid the dangers of disease and unwanted side effects. Therefore, make sure the product you want to choose has obtained a distribution permit from Palm. After buying a whitening cream, don't use it directly on the face area or body parts as a whole. Do an allergy test first by applying the cream to your arm and waiting about 24 hours to monitor the reaction. If irritation, burning, itching or other complaints appear, stop using it immediately and consult a doctor if necessary. It would be even better if you first consult a doctor to determine what whitening cream is suitable for your skin condition, so that it is safe to use and has maximum benefits.